The birds you see in these videos are least sandpipers. The smallest of the sandpipers, only about the size of sparrows. Uh, they are being filmed in southeastern New York. And this by itself is not unusual. For example, these sandpipers were observed here in an Audubon sanctuary in southeastern New York during the spring migration as they traveled from their winter grounds in the southern U.S. or northern South America to their breeding grounds uh, in the Canadian tundra. But this video is taken at the end of July. What are they doing? We weren't expecting them until the, quote, autumn migration when they leave their breeding grounds and go back to their wintering grounds. And interestingly, the, quote, autumn migration can, for many species, begin in July. They can begin migrating once their parenting duties in their breeding grounds have been concluded. So least sandpipers will start to nest in May and June. Uh, the eggs may take three weeks to incubate. Uh, the young are able to leave the nest on the day they hatch, and the young are able to fly two weeks after they hatch. And so by July, uh, the adult birds uh, could begin their migration. Interestingly, while in most bird species, females are providing more care than the males. In least sandpipers, it's actually the opposite, where the female may leave the nest and start her migration even before the eggs hatch or before they have uh, fledged and developed the ability to fly. So the migration of least sandpipers might actually come in waves, with adult females coming first adult males coming later because they remain with the hatchlings until they are able to fly. And then the juveniles which hatched in a given year then uh, migrating uh, more in autumn after they've had more time in their breeding grounds uh, to gather nourishment. And nourishment they need because their return trip to their non-breeding grounds, which may be in northern South America, may be a distance of 1,800 to 2,500 miles. And so clearly a migration route, which is 2,500 miles, uh, would require multiple stops to gain nourishment along the way.